All right, all I need is 30 more wood and 50 more stone. Can finally get this smithy made. I'm not entirely sure how the Therizinosaurus stays populated on the island. It's surprisingly slow for its size and is a solitary creature. I suppose the fact that its sheer power rivals the T-Rex is the only thing that allows this very aggressive herbivore to thrive on the island. Now the claws of the Therizinosaurus are some of the most versatile biological tools I've ever encountered. It's just as good at removing trees and foliage from its path just as it is as piercing the thick shells and hide of the island's most defensive creatures. A tame Therizinosaurus is one of the most versatile amounts a survivor can have. It could be trained to use its claws brutally or delicately, allowing the rider to primarily harvest the specific kinds of resources that he or she needs with abnormally extreme efficiency. And these same claws can pierce straight through the toughest armor, and this flexibility more than makes up for its inability to carry the largest loads of the island's many herbivorous pack bees. Well, it's time to chat about some new dinos coming soon to ARC. Starting with the Therizino. Now, before I get started, I would like to give a massive thank you to my boys Nick Out and Cheese. Thanks to their help, we have really early access to these dinos and we'll be able to do some pretty hot spotlights for you guys. And gals. We also have girls who watch too, if you can believe it. Now, the early version of the Therizino is fairly close to what the final will be like on release, from what I understand, but there is a chance that things may be tweaked by December 21st, so take what I'm saying with a little bit of a grain of salt. The Therizino is going to have two attacks, a quick but weaker little bite, and a more powerful but slightly slower right-click heavy hitting attack. Currently the left-click love bite can be used to farm berries, wood, and thatch. While the right click will farm berries along with a lot of fiber. It looks like this guy is going to be your new fiber farming champ December 21st. I'm going to say that a couple times. Some of you don't read the patch notes. This guy is going to be available December 21st with a lot of other cool things. So the dossier compares the Therizino to the Rex, if you can believe it. How can this guy be compared to the Rex? Absolutely absurd, right? Wrong. We tested this and indeed the Therizino is very comparable to the Rex. It's an herbivore, Rex, dodo, claw looking thing. We did some rough, unscientific tests to compare the two and I was quite impressed. We compared a Rex and a Therizino spawned in at the same level straight vanilla with no level. In combat, the Rex generally wins, but the Therizino actually does significantly more damage than a Rex at base level. The Rex only won because it had about double the HP, while the Therizino had close to double the damage output. Unbelievable. While we were testing this, I was just like, how? How is this happening? How is this happening? My boy Cheese just said, Look, you gotta understand, it's those claws. Look at those claws. Look at the claws, man! And definitely, look at those claws. Those are some crazy claws, aren't they? The Rex is, oddly enough, faster than the Therizino, but the Therizino has a lot more stamina. Which, that's okay. I'll take slightly less speed for a lot more stamina. That was always the Rex's 
serious weakness. The dossier also claims that the Therizino is better at killing those pesky critters with shells. We tested this also, and it does look like the Therizino can kill creatures like the Dode much faster than a Rex can. When I was messing with this, I noticed that the Therizino had an extra leveling option in the radial wheel context screen. Very similar to the Moss Chops, as a matter of fact, which was just released with the last update. This just looks like a test and will very, very likely change by final release. But who knows, maybe we'll see that option given to the Therizino. If that's the case, the Therizino might just become one of the most useful and badass all-around dinos to be added to the island. 10 out of 10. This is my new favorite dino, hands down. So that's all I got for now. Hey, if you like these dino spotlight kind of videos and you want more, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Slap the video with a big fat like. Also, I want you to drop a comment for me and I understand some of you struggle with trying to come up with hot comments to drop, okay? So I'll give you something. Here's what I want you to say in comments. Zombo, close your tabs before you record, okay? Very good, thank you for doing that. And if you're new here, why don't you look around? I have no doubt in my mind that if you look around, you too will become a loyal citizen of the Shaft. This is just the start. We're going to have more of these videos coming out, and on release, we'll be going much, much more in-depth with everything you need to know about these dinosaurs. So big fat thank you to Nick out. Check out his server. Big fat thank you to Cheese. Go ahead and click the bottom of that description. Check out my links. I got some hot links for you to click. Check out their servers. Check out my servers. My servers are pretty rad. Join our Discord. A lot of cool people there, I'm gonna tell you. And if you like this kind of content, and you wanna help support better content and more content, become a patron today. So with that said, we'll chat later, all right? Take it easy, dear friend.